Hello and welcome to NQ Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple search icon in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start with the design process. In Adobe Illustrator, create a new document. I will name it Basic Search Icon. Set the width and the height to 24 pixels. Make sure the color mode is set to RGB color and raster effects to screen. Click the Create button. First, I will create a 18 by 18 pixels square shape that will serve me as a guideline for the icon. In the toolbar on the left, select Rectangle Tool. Now click anywhere in your document, set the width and height to 18 pixels and click OK. Position this rectangle to the center of your artboard by aligning it horizontally and vertically to the artboard. Make sure Align to Artboard is set in the bottom left corner. Now we will create the ellipse part of the search icon. Go to the Rectangle tool in the toolbar, click and hold until you see other options. Select the Ellipse tool and click anywhere in your document for the Ellipse dialog to appear. Set the width and height to 14 pixels and click OK. Set the stroke to 2 points and make sure it's aligned to the inside. Remove the fill by setting it to None in the toolbar. Click on the Selection tool, hold Shift and select both the square and the ellipse. Click on the square again to make it a key object for aligning the ellipse. On the right in the Align section, now click the Horizontal Align left icon and the Vertical Align top icon. Now you position the ellipse to the right place on the artboard. We created the ellipse part of the icon. Let's design the handle now. Click anywhere in your document to deselect the two objects. Now select the Line Segment tool in the toolbar. Position your cursor to the bottom right corner of the square shape, click and hold, press the Shift key and drag the line towards the ellipse. When the line is about here, release the mouse and the Shift key. Click on the Stroke button and select the round cap. Now we can see that the stroke does not fit into the square guideline shape, so we have to move it a bit. Select the direct selection tool in the toolbar and click on the bottom right anchor point of the line. Press the up arrow key and the left arrow key to move the anchor point to the right position. Now click on the upper right anchor point and in the properties panel set the X and Y coordinates to 14 and a half. Now we've created the basic shape of our search icon. You can delete the square guideline shape now. What's left to do now is we have to convert the strokes into shapes to make it possible to join the two shapes. Select the ellipse and go to Object, Expand Appearance. You can see in the toolbar that the ellipse now has a black fill instead of a stroke. Now select the line and go to Object, Expand. Make sure the Stroke option is selected and click OK. Now select both objects and go to the Pathfinder panel. Click on the Unite Shape mode to join both of the objects together. Now we have one united search icon shape. The last thing we have to do is to create an invisible square shape around our icon. Go to the Rectangle tool, click anywhere in the document and create a 24 by 24 pixel square. Remove the fill and center it in the artboard in the Align panel. Select the search icon and the transparent rectangle and group them together. The 24 by 24 pixel square shape around the icon shape will make sure there is always some space around the icon so it's clearly visible and recognizable. We are done with the basic search icon design. You can export the icon by clicking on File, Export, Export for Screens. Click on the text underneath the artboard to give it a name. I will name it basic search icon. 
Here you can select where to export the icon and which formats to export. I usually use SVG so the icon is scalable and it doesn't lose the quality when scaling. Click on export artboard to export it. That was all for now. Join me in the next video where I will show you some techniques on how you can customize the icon we just created and the ways how to give it your own personal touch. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Leave a comment if you have a question or some thoughts about this video. See you soon in another design video. Stay creative and keep on learning design.